Whether you're new to screenwriting or have been writing for a while, one word that you'll keep hearing again and again is the word logline. Now a logline is a summation of the entire idea of the story in one sentence as you might see in the TV guide or on imdb.com movie listings. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you don't confuse the logline with the tagline. A tagline is the phrase or sentence that appears on the movie's poster or on advertisements and is typically used to sell the movie to the general public. Some examples of this include One man's struggle to take it easy Taken from Ferris Bueller's Day Off Be afraid, be very afraid Taken from the 1986 remake of The Fly Who are you going to call? Obviously this one was from the original Ghostbusters that's a tagline. The logline, on the other hand, basically takes the entire storyline of the movie and condenses it into one sentence. This is where the concept of the story is briefly summarised and to the point. Let's take a look at a few examples. The logline for the 1988 movie Willow could read, A young farmer, who is also a budding magician, goes on a dangerous journey to try and protect a baby princess from an evil queen. The logline for the 1968 movie Bullet starring Steve McQueen could read A straight shooting San Francisco cop sets out to find a criminal kingpin and bring him to justice after he kills a star witness. And the logline for the 1975 Spielberg classic Jaws could read A sheriff, a marine biologist and a shark hunter must work together to hunt down a great white shark that's terrorising a small beachside community. Writing loglines can be difficult. I mean, you're trying to compress an entire movie around 100 to 110 pages of script into one single revealing line. A lot of new writers try and cram too much into their loglines. The trick is to pinpoint the main idea that would be at the very core of your screenplay. The big picture idea without which your entire story would just simply fall apart. The format for writing loglines is simple. And again, you can see many examples in the TV guide or on imdb.com. Now, there are many ideas as to how a good logline should be written. But the most tried and tested method is to include the following four elements. Protagonist, plus inciting incident, plus protagonist goal, plus central conflict. Let's look at that. The protagonist, the good guy or hero of your story, plus the inciting incident, this is the character's call to action, the catalyst that propels the hero to undertake a journey. Plus protagonist goal, this is what the hero hopes to achieve. Plus central conflict, the hurdles the hero has to overcome, what the stakes are. A logline can be written in that order. For example, a drifter who's been accused of murder tries to prove his innocence while trying to avoid the police and the real killer. If we break that down, it looks like this. The protagonist is the drifter. The inciting incident is the murder which he has been accused of. The protagonist's goal is to try and prove his innocence. And the central conflict is to avoid the cops and the real killer. Those four elements, the protagonist, inciting incident, protagonist's goal and central conflict are typically written in that order. But as long as all four main elements are included, a logline can be written in any order you like. An example of this would be to prove his innocence, that's the protagonist's goal, a drifter, that's the protagonist, who's been accused of murder, the inciting incident, must evade the authorities while searching for the identity of the true killer, that's the central conflict. Like I said before, writing loglines can be difficult, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. When I was learning to write loglines, I would take already existing movies and try to write a summary of them in my own words. It was hard at first trying to focus in on the four main elements that make up a typical TV guide logline, trying to pull out the one core concept of the movie. But over time I was able to take any movie I'd seen and write a one sentence logline for it. Perhaps you could try this exercise to sharpen your logline writing skills. Because getting a great logline is one of the keys needed to sell your scripts. Because a refined logline is what you, or those working for you, will use to pitch your screenplays to producers and script buyers. Many writers believe that a logline is how you get people interested and excited about your scripts. It can help separate your script from the rest and can also help readers remember your script. The thing is, you might have a great idea and you may have written a truly outstanding masterpiece, but if someone likes your script 
A great logline is typically what they will remember long after they finish reading the script. If you like this video, don't forget to let others know by clicking the like button and sharing this video. If you subscribe to this channel, don't forget to click on the bell to always stay informed as to when new videos are uploaded. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. You'll also find Right for Screen over on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So check out the description of this video for all my social media info. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week with more hints and tips for new screenwriters. Until next time, keep writing and peace out.